Okay, this is 9.6, graphing a parabola of the form y equals x squared. So um, in the computer, it will ask you to um, draw it, and that's probably going to be the harder part is drawing it. So for an, uh, a squared function, it's best to know, first understand what a basic squared function looks like. So just y equals x squared. And if I make a table for that, when I square negative 2, I get positive 4. When I square negative 1, I get positive 1. When I square 0, I get 0. When I square 1, I get 1. And when I square 2, I get 4. So these are the values. And if I graph this, I get 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. I get 0, 0 in the center. I get 1 and 1, negative 1 and 1, 2 and 4, and 2 and 4. Now you cannot connect these with a straight line because if I try to connect the straight line, this will not, it will not cross through that point there. So this one is actually curvy. This is a curved graph. Okay, and it looks like a U. Like we know the absolute value look like a V. This one looks like a U. But if there is a negative number, that's what a less than zero means. So if this number is less than zero, less than zero means to the left of zero on a number line. So it means negative, okay? So if a is negative, then the curve will actually go downward. But if a is positive, then the curve will go upward. Okay, and that's what that was describing. These were just notes to myself to make sure I point this out. Um, and it's important because I think in the computer it will ask you whether the curve opens um, downward or whether it opens upward. Okay, so does it open upward like a bowl or does it open downward like a hill? Okay, um, and then another thing is is that you will first plot your points all of your points and then you just hit the little graphing button that draws the curve and if you plot your points and then you click this little icon that will draw the curve for you if it doesn't look like a u shape it looks like something weird then you know that your points are not correct it's a real nice way that alex kind of you know they did it without knowing that they did it but it's a good way to check to see if your answer is going to be correct or not just based on whether or not after you plug your points in if the graph graphs what you intended it to graph so it might be best for you to graph it on paper just so that you can know whether or not alex has got the right graph or not because if it does then you know you have the correct answer if it doesn't have the same graph as you with the same shape then you know that it's wrong okay and then don't click submit go back and fix your points so for this particular problem um, you do need to also find the center and to find the center to find the center set the base equal to zero and then once you have that you can put whatever the base whatever you got from doing this so that would be your center, right? Whatever you got would be your center, and then pick two x values to the left, two x values to the right, plug them into your equation, and you'll get your table values, which you can plot, and then pick the little graph icon. So for here, it's very important that you understand how to acknowledge your base, because there is a difference between this versus this, okay? Here, the only thing that is being squared is the x, and the 2 is just a coefficient. It's just a number being multiplied in the front of that value. So here, the order of operations would be to calculate the exponent first, and then multiply by 2. Whereas this expression has parentheses, which means this entire thing is the base, and in the order of operations here tells us we have to do the multiplication first and then that result is what will get squared. So the answers for these two things when you fill in your table will be different, okay? 
So it's a very important that we know the difference between being able to acknowledge our basis. Now we should have seen that earlier, like way earlier, like at the very beginning of the semester um, when it came to applying exponents, but it's important to bring it up again now just to recall our memory, right? Just to jog back our memory. So we do need to know that because I'm gonna have to identify the base in order to figure out what the center is. So in the problem that I was given, the base is actually um, the x so if i set that x equal to zero x is just equal to zero so that means in my table i'm going to have zero and then i need to pick two points to the left of zero and two points to the right of zero and then what am i doing i'm plugging them into the equation so negative 2 squared. So I'm squaring the x value I'm plugging in. Here I get 4. And then I'm multiplying, right? Applying that order of operations. So I get 8. Here if I plug in negative 1, negative 1 squared is positive 1 times 2 is 2. When I plug in 0, 0 squared is 0 times 2 is still 0. 1 squared is positive 1 times 2 is 2. 2 squared is 4, and 4 times 2 is 8. And so then if I draw this myself on paper, so that when I do enter it in the computer, I'll know whether or not it's correct. I'm going to have negative 2 and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So negative 2 and 8, negative 1 and 2, 0, 0. 1 and 2 and then 2 and 8 and so then the curve should be really skinny it's a little bit more narrow than this one was um it should look like this so i will plot all my points first then i will pick that one little icon that looks like a curve with the little x's um so that when i click this it'll automatically draw the graph for me but if my points are wrong the graph could probably look like this or look like this you know something it'll look like something and if it doesn't look like what i have which is a narrow um u shape right then we know that we graphed the wrong thing okay so just make sure you keep that in mind that when you click the graph icon it will just draw it for you and it'll draw whatever points you've got there it'll try to connect them so make sure that your points are correct so that it'll draw the correct graph. And you actually should be able to identify whether or not you got a correct graph when you plot it yourself.